See, when I had my first ecstasy with Jesus in the jungle while I was captured there by the rebels and the Lord appeared to me, one of the things he showed me was the mass and he showed me a priest in the sacristy and the priest was uh, dressing up with his liturgical vestments. It was a long, it was pretty long. I usually don't describe that in detail because it's very long. And he was showing to me every prayer for every vestment and also showing to me the priest alone in the sacristy, like entering into a spiritual battle, an amazing battle, the battle of the mass. It's a, it's a furious battle against the devil because he absolutely hates the mass. It's like the biggest blow to the devil. Wherever a mass is celebrated, the territory that covers that mass, which is very large spiritually, it covers many people, not only Catholics, it covers humans all around in a big circle, a big territory. And demons flee. They can't stand the light of the mass. So Satan is furious every time a mass is going to be celebrated because all his works in that territory are destroyed completely. So then when he showed me the priest walking towards the altar and kissing the altar, and this amazing light descend from heaven on the altar and cover that big territory, then you acknowledge that what is taking place there is heaven touching earth. Literally, that's what it is. It's the union of our church with the heavenly church. And it's a, a foretaste of the glory of God. Every mass is the foretaste of it. I know it is mystical. And I know it is invisible to us. It's not tangible. It's not visible. But it's real. As much as we in faith believe heaven does exist, and we do believe hell does exist and purgatory, then we should believe that the mass is a descending of the city of light. That's exactly what it is. We are in the Jerusalem of heaven while we are in mass. Literally. The celestial court is there, and we even have purgatory. 